Charles woke with a groan, already able to feel his head pounding in anger at him having stayed up as long as he had. It wasn't his fault that the episode of his favorite TV show had been particularly good, nor did it matter that he had watched the entire series at least five times already. He had pulled three all-nighters in a row at work in an effort to complete the project on time. When he had finally gotten home the night before, he had flicked on the TV to his favorite show instead of going to sleep. The high of being awake for so long had slowly faded away as he watched the show from his bed. A deep sleep had claimed soon afterwards. His eyes felt like they were glued shut as he forced the palms of his hands to scrub at them with another groan. His dreams had been odd and disturbing, forcing him to ignore them all night long. Oh, quit your whining, you pathetic weakling, an uncompromisingly hard voice said to him. With a hitch of his throat, Charles shot off his bed and to his feet, his eyes pulling themselves open with a wrench. His sandy and dry-feeling eyes revealed a blurred and hazy-looking room with a red-haired woman standing in front of his desk. As he blinked furiously, she slowly came into focus, revealing her long, curly red hair that cascaded down the middle of her back. Her large green eyes were hard, and her sharp nose upturned haughtily as she looked at him. A sword was strapped to the thigh of her dark red leather pants. A soft green blouse tried to hide her womanly form, only barely succeeding. She was an exceedingly beautiful woman, but none of that so much as hinted to the reason that she was standing in the bedroom of his apartment. Then he felt his mind stutter and grind to a halt as he saw the long tapered ears that peeked through her hair. Who? Who are you? He stuttered weakly as he tried to cover his own skinny chest, his dark blue boxers highlighting his pale legs. A hazy black transparent box flickered into being in the corner of his vision. You have been cursed by the gods. Your refusal to acknowledge their announcement has earned their ire. The curse, sleepless, has been placed upon you by the gods. As such, only the gods may remove this curse. As Zeus is one of the gods involved in this curse, it was decided that you will need to complete twelve challenges to have this curse removed. Details of the challenges you will need to complete will be revealed in time. For now, enjoy not being able to sleep. Charles felt his legs grow weak at what he was seeing. The soft edges of the box stayed in his vision, no matter how much he blinked. You have to will it closed like you would a window on your computer, you dim-witted fool. Charles extended his hand and tried pressing the corner as she had said. A harsh laugh filled the air at his actions. You have to do it with your mind, not your hand. Just think about it closing. At the direction of her words, he pushed with his mind, and the box closed, leaving nothing behind. What is going on? Charles asked weakly as he sank back onto his bed. If you had woken like everyone else in the world, you would already know the answer to that question. The world has changed. My fellow gods and I decided that we had grown bored looking over the world. You all had but forgotten us, leaving us with nothing to occupy our time. Can you really blame us for growing bored and needing to find other things to occupy our time with? We decided that we no longer wanted humanity to continue down the path they had been treading. So, we combined all our powers and changed the very fabric of reality and the world. The red-haired, elfin-eared goddess pushed away from his cluttered desk to stand at her full, angry, five-foot height. The world is now modeled after the fashion of your tabletop role-playing games. People can now gain levels by completing tasks or killing monsters. And yes, there are monsters in the world. We have brought back the monsters of legend and awakened them from their slumber. As time passes, more will be introduced when the time is right.